everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new, my name is Sunday Love. I hope you stick around, subscribe, and join the family because we have family over here, okay? We're starting the week off with a trip. Very excited. We're going to Karuizawa in Nagano. Just finished getting ready. I didn't do my hair because it's hot as heck. It's gonna go flat the second I walk outside, so don't put in the effort. Today is the hottest day of the year so far. I'm in the house and I'm already sweating, so I know it's gonna be bad. This is probably the first trip I've ever gone on that I've only brought a backpack. So proud of myself. So oh, actually, actually, yes, yeah, Sunday, it, it is, is possible, possible to fit everything you need into a backpack. I've been on a few trips this past couple of weeks and I overpacked for both. I'm so over it. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm meeting up with all my friends at the station, so I gotta go. It's hot at 6 a.m. I made it to the station. This is where we're meeting at. Layla's just getting a rental car, but yeah. I was just saying earlier, like, I need to get out and do more trips while the borders are still closed. Like, I'm not one of those people that wants them to stay closed at all. But at the same time, I should definitely be making the most of this situation and travel as much as possible while the crowds aren't super crazy. Because there are actually a lot of cool places in Japan, like Kyoto, that are just so beautiful, but they can easily be ruined if it's too crowded. So, like, I always feel bad when people People travel during like peak season and they're like yeah it wasn't that great because everything was crowded we had to wait yada yada crowds can really ruin a trip so I need to take advantage of this situation and travel as much as possible while I can but yeah I'm definitely not one of them um I hope they keep the borders closed type of people like I can't stand when foreigners say that think about the other people on the other side trying to get in like bro if that was you you would not be saying that so mm, I don't know anyways got all my stuff and uh let's get on this road trip you know, I can drive. It's just like, it's like the starting part is kind of hard. The like, starting part, all the we're gonna die. All the cars are different, right? No. Like, I'm used to, I'm used to like this place having all the like little junk, but here, look, it's down here. You know, excuses. Hi. <laughs> like a mountain area so a lot of the airbnbs are like cabins i just love cabin vibes get out of here bug oh all these bugs i love the cabin vibes minus the bugs i know y'all can see him <laughs> oh there's a full kitchen we could have cooked why would we cook while we're on vacation barbecue Ew, you sound spoiled. Spoiled? Who cooks when they travel? Me? All right, so we just checked into the Airbnb. We're actually just gonna drop off all our stuff and then go out and go like look around the town. Kitchen, Layla, Yuta, books. Are you fighting a book? Coffee station? Oh, look at this bathroom. These are like literally all the colors and materials I want. Wow, there's even a full washer dryer. That's cool. Oh, there's a bathtub. 
like, such a vibe. Actually, this is a brand new place. Uh, when I went to go reserve it, he was like, you guys are my first guests, but that means we can't break anything, because if we do, they're gonna know. Beds are so pretty. White linen. Such a vibe. Oh, there's a bench. Good working spots. What a good view. This morning I decided I'm not bringing my laptop because I don't want to work. I just want to enjoy this moment. So I left back home just so I wouldn't work. And then right when we get here, there's like really nice bench that I can work at. I'm so mad. But yeah, I only brought my iPad. It was a really long drive. It was like, what? It, how long did it take? Three hours? Dang. Four hours. Because of the traffic. So it actually took a lot longer than it normally would to get here. But I kept myself occupied on the iPad. I went on Skillshare and like finished up some classes that I was taking. And I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you did not know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to choose from. Whether you're interested in changing your career, leveling up your skills, or you're just curious, Skillshare has something for everyone. I have learned so many different things on Skillshare from photography, videography, editing, gardening, and even clothing design software. I've been taking a bunch of classes about like gardening. It's been so helpful because first time I did it, I just did it by myself and I really didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, it didn't go so well. Some things worked, some things didn't work. So yeah, this go around, I wanted to learn how to do things properly. I've been taking this class called Indoor Gardening Grow House Plants, Veggies, and Herbs with Ekta Chati. I'm hoping with more knowledge I'll be able to produce better results come fall. It's amazing how many skills you can learn just by taking a class. So yeah, if you guys are interested, the first 1,000 people to use my link down below in the description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Nothing to lose. It's free. So yeah, thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now we're gonna go out in the town. <laughs> Okay, we made it to Karuizawa. It's actually not that far from Tokyo, and this is like such a popular place. I can't believe I've never been here. So when Layla was like, hey, we're going on a family trip, you wanna come? I was like, heck yeah. So you my family. Cause we family over here. We are family. <laughs> what is this place famous for? Um, honey. There are a lot of honey shops, but there's a lot of soba shops too, but it's because the water's cleaner. Clear water equals good soba and sake. Yay. This cheese stuff too. Cheese. And now we're gonna go get ice cream and pudding. Yay. Yeah, I want one. Which kind? I want the honey lemon. Oh, good, because I don't want that, but I want to try oh. this chocolate and this ice pudding. I don't know what that is. Oh, the regular one's the most popular, right? Blueberry. Oh my Blueberry god, cheese. there's too many. Yeah, if you guys like know me, I don't really like super sweet stuff. So like stuff like pudding and custard and cream cheese and cheesecake. I like these types. It's actually fire. I'm getting sick of you being boring. Okay, <laughs> first you get tissues and now it's just, what is that? White. White. Bland, 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 bland. <laughs> I got my yellow because I'm also yellow. Oh, you racist girl. Because you're Asian, you could say it. The store. Ow, I love this. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. 
Oh my gosh, guys, I had to like pause just to tell you how bomb this jam actually is. I'm already finished with it. I finished it in literally three days. And if you know me, you know I don't really like sweets. So that's saying something. If you ever come to Katarizawa, make sure you get like 10 of these because I promise you one won't be enough. I'm literally just contemplating going on another trip just to go all the way back and get this jam. The other one, the pudding jam was also really, really good. But like the Basque cheesecake was on just a whole nother level. I ended up getting two other apple flavored jams for Ash, but I didn't get to try them oh, oh that one's gosh. pudding jam yeah that sounds so good yep it's one like, of each it's easy. Thank you. wow in um, the Ghibli store and of course I knew they would have one here. Pretty much this whole town is just adorable and like great for shopping. There are so many souvenir shops. There's a lot of uh, treats to buy. Is that a pen holder? <laughs> it's, it's okay. Hold on. Yeah, it's so cute. I actually love that. I know. It's so epic. It's the cat bus too. It's so, look at, look at space. He's definitely getting stationary. <laughs> Share. Good morning, guys. If I look like deaf, I just woke up. Now we're like married, you know, married couple. Good morning, babe. Don't mind the crusties in my eyes. Second day here. We're actually headed back to Tokyo today. We don't have like that much planned. We pretty much have like food planned only. Then we're just gonna do like some other stuff. Maybe look at a lake or something. Don't really know. But yeah, it's super duper early. I'm gonna do my makeup and we're gonna head back into town. We're actually like pretty close. I don't know why I say back into town. We're gonna drive around the corner. <laughs> say goodbye to this bench. I stayed at a lot of really nice Airbnbs, like literally just for the actual Airbnb, like the architecture. This like long bench that they use, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I was trying to see like exactly how it was made and how they made it so seamless. So I'm like taking notes of the construction. Yeah, and it looks like they didn't use nails and screws. Instead they used wooden dowels and then hammered it in, sawed it off and made it black. I'm sound like a nerd, I need to shut up. It's not the most beautiful workbench ever. Oh, such a vibe. All right, we're 
we're at this place that Layla dragged us to for some really strange reasons. It's a strange reason. So this is the Mampe Hotel where John Lennon used to come all the time. I think he would stay here actually and he loved Carrizo's but then he would come to this hotel's cafe and like order the apple pie and the milk tea. Usually there's like a long line of it, that's what I heard, so we came here when it opened. <laughs> like really early, but there's it's some seats. It's so nice, right? It's yeah. such a vibe, we're like at the window. We all got the same thing. Yeah, we all. Basic, basic. <laughs> How is it? Did you already try? Really good? Let's try this famous apple pie. Mm. Oh my god, it's like the best milk tea ever. <laughs> it's $11. $11. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this milk tea is $11. <laughs> it better taste like $11. Do we look the same? Uh, nah. No. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh my god, it's so peaceful. I just want to like be in nature every second of the day. My little yard is not cutting it anymore. We're in like the Japanese garden area of the hotel. Let's take a walk and fall in love. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're just a gone away. I keep thinking about that big sky I've seen so many times before. But it's something else today This is literally the border between Guma and Nagano Prefecture. So like, this is the actual line. So basically we're in two spots right now. So cool, if you just cross over the little sides, you're on a different side. Okay, she said some crazy nonsense and now I'm like freaked out because I feel like I should know this, I mean, but I don't. I don't know this. No. I, don't know, I don't know if this is confirmed by Hayao Miyazaki, but I don't want to ruin the story for everyone if they haven't uh, well, watched Totoro. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Totoro, skip forward. I'll put the time here. <laughs> now we're talking about the concept of the actual movie. Yeah. Like Totoro, it's like, it's like, I'm sure lots of people know this. I don't know this. He's like the Grim Reaper. Only May could see Totoro at first, right? Yeah. Satsuki, is that her name? She didn't see Totoro before, but it was just May, and it was because like May is dead or something, and then Satsuki finds her dead body, and I think Satsuki dies too, like and that's why she can see Totoro. They don't make it right? out of the forest. Yeah, they don't make it out of the forest, and then like the dad can't see Totoro at all because he's not dying or he's not dead. But at the end of the movie, the May mom and Satsuki in the and Totoro are sitting on the tree, yeah. and the mom is in the hospital with the dad. Mm -hmm. the, Mom's like, oh look, they're waving at us, right? But he just thinks she's like, because she's sick, right? Yeah. It's because she sees their ghost and she sees Totoro because she's gonna die soon because she's sick, right? Oh my god! And, but I never he's, he's a good reaper. You know, Nickel Bus? It's like yeah. taking you to like, <gasps> where, right? All the Ghibli movies are like so deep. I know the Spirited Away one is like, like the bath house is actually, you know, a hmm house. That kind of house. And like, No Face handing her money like symbolizes, you know, and she didn't want to take it. And of course, Grave of Fireflies. That's why I don't want to watch it. I don't like sad movies, like happy endings.
gonna wait for it. Is that Ronin Kenshin? Yeah, it is. Oh. It's like so, such a good one. Oh my god. Oh, and it goes in here, like a mermaid. Yeah. That's so oh, cool. Nice. Before we head back,